Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be more of a show and tell, less of a review. Because um, <clears throat> there's a lot to say about this guy, but also not a ton at the same time. Um, but before we go ahead and get into it, let's go ahead and please subscribe, please like the video, follow the Instagram and like the Facebook page. Um, so this, this is a Rockstead. This is the most expensive um, um, fixed blade I have. So obviously Rockstead is made in Japan. Um, this is a wood um, Marcada, Marcada um, composite sheath. Um, super sleek. Super nice, um, simple. Um, one thing I do like about this is you can you can mount it in a couple of different ways. Uh, so you have this right here, belt loop right there. Super simple. Put it in there. Have it lower. It does come with a string that you can and then wrap around your leg if you do so choose to do that. Another way is you can actually take this around your belt loop again and actually put this in your pants pocket. Your front pocket um, and it seats, seats pretty darn well with, with being relatively concealed at the same time um, we also have this option here you have these two straps um, you can put it on your back like this kind of mounted through the back there um, or obviously this way that way depending on how you want it on your back or the side you have a side like this um, or like that so there's options you can also put this on the backpack or if you have straps that can go through there. So there are options to mount it in different ways, if you so choose. Um, you can not take this off. Um, I haven't really dabbled in that. If you can mount this to other um, things. Because um, the nice thing about this is you obviously have this strap. It holds it in, but you also have this lock. So... You don't have to just rely on the strap. The lock does help quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> this I will wipe down. Um, I will not touch the blade for various reasons. Um, if you have not seen one of these guys, um, you, you'll know why. But here you go. It is, you can definitely see things. <laughs> If you see my face and I'm making a funny expression, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. It is a the definition of a mirror polish. Um, it is literally a mirror. Um, it does, however, which is interesting, if you were curious, make it really hard to take a good picture of the blade because the blade is constantly um, reflecting what you're taking a picture of. You never actually get a clear shot of the blade. Um, but here it's a little bit easier. Got the light. That. Um, so it, it's a little bit harder to take a picture of this guy, but that's just, that's a small kind of thing to really have a problem with. Um, the spine, I really like. I like the swedge right here. The jumping is actually useful, but not super aggressive. Um, people have always asked whenever I've taken a picture of this or like shown it around what the hole is for. And that's kind of a signature of Rockstead. And they do that on all their knives. Um, folding or fixed blade doesn't really matter. Um, this is technically a full tang blade knife. Um, the tang goes from all the way over here, all the way out to here. This is the tang. Um, it's just a concealed full tang, if that makes sense. Um, so, it's very, very comfortable. The handle right here swells up very nicely. Um, <clears throat> this is also, again, G not G it's Ricarda wood um, inlay, not inlay, wood composite, so it's like a mixture of wood and Ricarda. Um, looks very nice 
simple, but it's more durable than just a wood handle. Um, it can withstand the elements way better than just wood. Um, so it's a really good overall handle material. Um, have I, if you're wondering, have I used this? No. Um, will I use it? Um, maybe one day. May, maybe one day. Maybe one day I will. Um, it's just a beautiful knife that I can definitely appreciate. Um, I can tell you that it will slice better than any knife I have, period. Just period, flat out, no question. Like any kitchen knife, it'll do better. Any folder knife, it'll do better. Any of my other fixed blades, it will cut better. It will slice better um, and slice better for longer. It's just how that works. That's how a rock set is. They take time and their heat treat, they take time in everything they do. Uh, um, if I had to pick a knife, or a fixed blade I should say, that I wanted to be my only fixed blade, it would probably be this. Just simple. Just, if I had to pick and choose, this would be my last fixed blade I would ever own. Um, super comfortable suit it's extremely nice the weight is actually really good right there right where you would want it right where you would want it you would think it wouldn't be um and i was surprised to be honest that it was so well balanced but I, yeah again like there's not really much to say about it like I mean you can look at it all you want um the one thing is because of the uh, how they heat treat the steel yes it will cut longer than most of your steels you will ever have in your collection of any knife but it also makes it way more um brittle um it's chip is more likely to chip or crack. That's why these are slicers. I mean, you can slice all day, every day, for who knows, for a long, long, long time, and never even think about having to sharpen it. But if you abuse it, um, like you would like a hard use knife, you might come into some issues with the hardness. Um, because they're, this one right here, I believe, is a Rockwell of 68, this particular one, uh, which is extremely hard. I can know, uh, 68. Yeah. Um, they're very hard. 68 is almost, almost 70. Um, some of them are 69. Um, which is harder than you would want most things to be um, if you're trying to hard use them. If you're trying to use them for hard use, you want them to be durable, but also hold an edge, so you want them closer to like 62, um, around that at the high end, 62. This being almost entire 10, um, higher is pretty intense um it means obviously grinding stuff like this making a mirror polish like that is extra hard because the steel and blade is extra hard to deal with um so it takes extra time to do those details um and so i mean some of your knives you probably have are more like the around the 59 to 60 mark. Uh, and this guy is quite a bit harder than that. Um, so again, it'll keep an edge forever uh, as long as you don't abuse it. And you'll rarely have to think about sharpening it. In fact, I would recommend if you ever have to sharpen a rock stead, um, if you are not comfortable with it because of the mirror polish or you don't want to ruin it, you can send it into to rock stead. That's what I would recommend um, if you don't have the tools to maintain this mirror polish or the time.
is also that part of it too. Um, but most of the time you could probably just simply um, drop it. Like in all honesty. Um, but again, uh, these are high price tags. Um, it is up there. It is up there in price tag. Um, but um, do I have any size comparisons that would be worthwhile? Um, let me just kind of hold it. Let's grab. This is not a normal Sharpie. It's a silver Sharpie, but you can kind of give a good example of size. It's not large. It just isn't. Um, whole, the blades are the same size of a whole Sharpie, if you are curious. Um, but this is like, when it comes to fixed blades, this is like a, this is a goal to get to. Personally, this was a goal for me to be able to get one. Um, I've had this for a while. I've been really debating on doing a video at all on it just because it's not going to be a review. It's not going to be something that's like, hey, this is the reason to get it. This is the cons. This is the pros. Uh, this is just more of a, this is a showpiece to be frank. This this is one of the few knives that I have that is legitimately just for the collection. It's just, it's, it is legitimately a safe queen. It's something that I have carried, but I've not used. Um, I carried this on my back at Blade Show 2023 um, in Atlanta. Um, will I do that again this year? That's a good question. I might. I probably will. But it's not something I'm going to actually seek out to use. Um, now, would this be great as a fighting fixed blade? Um, it would certainly handle whatever you're cutting perfectly well. So if um, I would not want to be on the other end of this edge, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. I die. Now, I do not condone that. Don't get in a knife. Don't get in a fight or a knife fight. Don't do it. Bad idea. Um, but this will definitely uh, shave your grapes or tomatoes or whatever thing you really want to shave. This will shave your hairs. Um, no, not just shave your hairs off you, but it will shave a hair. Um, so it is plenty sharp. It is a slicey blade, that's for sure. Um, I don't know if I'll ever actually completely use it. I'm always tempted because I just want to watch it slice things and just the ease at which it does it. Um, but yeah, um, there's not much, much else to say other than... Um, it's a beauty and one I tend to keep as long as I possibly can and it is just for the collection to be honest with you um, and that's really gonna be it for this video I mean it, it was a different video it was different it wasn't my normal one but I hope you still enjoyed uh, please like and subscribe Please follow the Instagram and like the Facebook page, and I'll see you guys in the next one.